Uh, usually I get a rolling total of who's coming in, but I don't tonight. So Judith and Leah and Julia, good to see you. Who knows, maybe there's some setting that I inadvertently bumped. Who knows? Hey, Jenny, good to see you too. Well, we didn't have any rain, haven't had any yet, so I sat outside, stoked bonfire, and got ready for Bible study, so that was good. Now here we are inside in Rome's home, and everybody managed to test negative for COVID, so having a good evening. And the, the big dog is so happy that Roman's home that he's doing little dances here at the house, and booping us with his nose, so that's fun to see too. Hey, Shannon. Good to see you, too. All right, well, I have 6.30. Let's go ahead and get started. We are on page 109, an order of worship for the evening. Page 109, light and peace in Jesus Christ our Lord. Jesus said, you are the light of the world. A city that is built on a hill cannot be hid. No one lights a lamp to put it under a bucket, but on a lampstand, where it gives light for everyone in the house. And you, like the lamp, must shed light among your fellow men, so that they may see the good you do, and give glory to your Father in heaven. Let us pray. O Lord God Almighty, as you have taught us to call the evening, the morning, and the noon one, one day, and have made the sun to know it's going down, Dispel the darkness of our hearts, that by your brightness we may know you to be the true God and eternal light, living and reigning forever and ever. Amen. And we continue on page 112 with the Fos Hilaron. Please pray with me. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, 
Now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Our psalm for this evening is on page 626. It is Psalm 33. Once you get there, uh, please join me in praying through that together. Suzanne, good to see you. Sue, good to see you too. And again, I apologize. Normally your comments and things show up on my screen, but tonight I'm not getting those. I must have messed up one of the settings, so I apologize for that. On page 626, we are getting ready to do Psalm 33. Please pray with me. Rejoice in the Lord, you righteous. It is good for the just to sing praises. Praise the Lord with the harp. Play to him upon the psaltery and lyre. Sing for him a new song. Sound a fanfare with all your skill upon the trumpet. For the word of the Lord is right, and all his works are sure. He loves righteousness and justice. The loving kindness of the Lord fills the whole earth. By the word of the Lord were the heavens made. By the breath of his mouth, all the heavenly hosts. He gathers up the waters of the ocean as in a water skin and stores up the depths of the sea. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all who dwell in the world stand in awe of him. For he spoke and it came to pass. He commanded and it stood fast. The Lord brings the will of the nations to naught. He thwarts the designs of the peoples. But the Lord's will stands fast forever, and the designs of his heart from age to age. Happy is the nation whose God is the Lord. Happy the people he has chosen to be his own. The Lord looks down from heaven and beholds all the people in the world. From where he sits enthroned, he turns his gaze on all who dwell on the earth. He fashions all the hearts of them and understands all their works. There is no king that can be saved by a mighty army. A strong man is not delivered by his great strength. The horse is a vain hope for deliverance, for all its strength it cannot save. Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon those who fear him, on those who wait upon his love, to pluck their lives from death and to feed them in time of famine. Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. Indeed, our heart rejoices in him, for in his holy name we put our trust. Let your loving kindness, O Lord, be upon us, as we have put our trust in you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our second scripture reading this evening closes out the letter of James. This is chapter 5, verses 13 to 20. The apostle writes, Are any among you suffering? They should pray. Are any cheerful? They should sing songs of praise. Are any among you sick? They should call for the elders of the church and have them pray over them, anointing them with oil in the name of the Lord. The prayer of faith will save the sick, and the Lord will raise them up, and anyone who has committed sins will be forgiven. Therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another so that you may be healed. The prayer of the righteous is powerful and effective. Elijah was a human being like us, and he prayed fervently that it might not rain. And for three years and six months, it did not rain on the earth. Then he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain, and the earth yielded its harvest. My brothers and sisters, if anyone among you wanders from the truth and is brought back by another, you should know that whoever brings back a sinner from wandering will save the sinner's soul from death and will cover a multitude of sins. The word of the Lord. Our canticle for this evening is on page 93. It is canticle 18. A song to the Lamb. Once you get there, page 93, let us pray through this canticle together. Page 93, canticle 18. 
splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain, for with your blood you have redeemed for God from every family, language, people, and nation, a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor forever and forevermore. And we continue on page 120 with the Apostles' Creed. When you get there, please join me as you are able. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. My friends, the Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. We continue with Suffrages A. Please pray with me. Show us your mercy, O Lord. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. Lord, keep this nation under your care. Let your way be known upon earth. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Create in us clean hearts, O God. Almighty and everlasting God, whose will it is to restore all things in your well-beloved Son, the King of kings and Lord of lords, Mercifully grant that the peoples of the earth, divided and enslaved by sin, may be freed and brought together under his most gracious rule, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. On page 123 is a collect for Saturdays. Please pray with me. O God, the source of eternal light, shed forth your unending day upon us who watch for you that our lips may praise you, our lives may bless you, and our worship on the morrow give you glory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And if you will, turn with me to page 261. There are some beautiful prayers tucked away here near the prayers for the, for the week. And so let us pray that together. When you get there, page 261, we'll be praying Collect 24. Tomorrow is Christ the King Sunday. It's the last Sunday in the church year. Jennifer Lee will be preaching and leading worship tomorrow. Uh, we just had our Collect for Christ the King. And now here we are for Vocation in Daily Work, page 261, prayer 24. Please pray with me. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, you declare your glory and show forth your handiwork in the heavens and in the earth. Deliver us in our various occupations from the service of self alone, that we may do the work you give us to do in truth and beauty and for the common good. For the sake of him who came among us as one who serves, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. 
O God, you manifest in your servants the signs of your presence. Send forth upon us the spirit of love, that in companionship with one another, your abounding grace may increase among us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. This time I invite your thanksgivings and intercessions silently or aloud. For the vaccines in development and for the people working to create them and approve them, may the process be proper and effective and may they please turn back the spread of this pandemic and bring us to health and safety again soon. Uh, we lift up all who are ill, uh, who are in the hospital, we lift up all, all hospital workers, doctors, nurses, the staff there, uh, just hold them up ask that you would renew them day by day, moment by moment. Uh, and may we as a people just do our part. Stay separate, wear our masks, and uh, halt the spread of this infection. Please guide us. I give thanks for each person here. Please bless them, uh, their families, and their other loved ones. Hold them close, keep them safe. Thank you for this time together. Amen. Our final prayer is on page 113. It begins, Almighty Everlasting God. When you get there, please join me in praying that together. Page 113. Almighty Everlasting God, let our prayer in your sight be as incense, the lifting up of our hands as the evening sacrifice. Give us grace to behold you, present in your word and sacraments, and to recognize you in the lives of those around us. Stir up in us the flame of that love which burned in the heart of your Son as he bore his passion, and let it burn in us to eternal life and to the ages of ages. Amen. My friends, the Lord bless you and keep you. Lord, make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. Lord, lift up the light of his countenance upon you and grant you peace. My friends, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Yeah, as always, it's good to worship and walk with you. Like I said, I wasn't sure about my travel plans, uh, so I asked Jennifer Lee to lead tomorrow's service. So she will be doing morning prayer at 9.30 at preaching. She tells me that Christ the King is one of her favorite days of the year, so this worked out really well. Uh, we'll have our Bible study, John 5 and 6, at 11 o'clock, and then we'll be back for evening prayer at five, uh, 6.30. Blessings, friends. <laughs>